Welcome back to another episode of Neko Kura. Today we are diving in my home area. It's fall, so I'm sharing some footage from a few days. This is pretty typical for my area. The visibility and the kinds of fish you see are pretty standard. Here is a school of red barracuda. They are great to eat, but their thin bodies make them tough to spear. These are blackfin sea basses and knob snout parrotfish, which is one of the biggest parrotfish species. But we have to be careful, they can have cigatera toxin. And look, here is a sea turtle swimming by. On another day, I went spearfishing to get some dinner. Check out this spotted eagle ray. It's the biggest fish I usually see around here, and it's gorgeous. Here's a bald knife jaw. I could have taken a shot, but I don't like eating them. They're really lovely. I also saw some Japanese amberjacks, but they were too far for a shot. I found this made bird knife jaw. And I found this array grouper before heading out. I didn't catch any fish that day. On a different day, I came back and found a school of large scale black fish or gure in Japanese. I missed a few shots because they were a bit skittish. I tried hiding behind some rocks to ambush them. And finally, I got one. Look at those beautiful fins. Its caudal fin looks white when it's alive. And it has striking blue eyes. There's no other fish like them. This one was a great size. I love eating these fish. On another day, I headed north to explore new spots. I used a spoon to attract bluefish. I tossed it out, and it slowly sank while catching the sunlight. I hope some fish will find it interesting and come over. There were bay fish around, so I kept tossing the spoon. All spot themselves were pecking at it. And then a yellow tail amberjack appeared. Let's dive down to check it out. Bam! The footage turned out great. It was very close. Then a school of young great amberjacks showed up. They grow big, but we only see the young ones near shore. They head offshore after they mature. I'm not sure if the fish were drowned to the spoon or if they were just already there, but they were definitely interested. They are looking at it. I think this method is somehow effective. I didn't spearfish on this day, but I plan to use this technique to catch amberjacks this year. I've never caught a yellow tail amberjacks before, so that's a goal for me.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next underwater adventure. Bye bye.